So today I will be showing you my Valentine's Day, or in this case, anti-Valentine's Day look. Um, we're going vampy, we're going heartbreak. I'm going to get into my primers. I have three primers I like to use, but I think today we're only going to use two, and that is the pore primer. Pore primer. <laughs> the pore primer. This is the pore blur. Blur and Prime Primer, and this is by Revolution Makeup, again. With this one, I'm just going to put it on the areas that are super, like, they have, like, pores coming in. So definitely on my nose, around my mouth area, right here. Last time I did that, I had to edit the crap out of this, so that's why it's so jaggedy in my last video, because my fingers did something that could have gotten me demonetized. So, literally around here, around my nose, and between my brow. going to take, it looks like I'm squeezing frosting. It looks like frosting people. Now, you can use um, brushes, you can use beauty sponges, but for me, I like to use my fingers simply because I can push the product into my skin. Um, this is something I learned from Robert Welsh. Um, he is a real makeup artist, but he comes here on YouTube and shares his wisdom. I love his videos. I don't know where he came from in this whole beauty thing, but I am so happy I found him and his videos because he gives actually good advice. And that's really rare because there are some videos where they're sponsoring products and the products aren't even that good, or they say, oh, this is what you need to do, and honey, you don't need to. You really don't. And now we're going to go in uh, <laughs> with the Mattify, the Matte and Fix Primer. This is just going to go on my forehead, chin, and cheeks, just where I think um, you can see a shine. Like, for instance, some people like to bake. Baking is an art. I can 100% say that. But for me, baking is not. <laughs> I cannot bake to save my soul. And you're going to get people who tell you you need to bake. That's essential for your makeup. It is essential, honey. It is not. You can look good on camera and it looks fantastic. I don't know how many baking powders I've bought in my lifetime. And my face has looked crepey and gross, and it has not set well. Even if I have done everything, even if I have, excuse me, um, even if I have tried so much to make it look good, even after it just gets really crinkly under the eyes. Well, you don't have to do that, guys. You really don't. So for my under eyes, because it doesn't look like I have circles or bags, but if you get really close, you can see right here. Now, I am 24 years of age. I will be 25. I don't like to sleep, and that is a big old B. Hello, Mr. B. Again, I'm in front of a window. <laughs> I used to take it all the way across, and in my last video, I took it all the way across. This time, I'm going to try and be controlled of my desires of concealer and how I want it to look. This is the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab mirror. It is precious. It's pink. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to have my, my mirror here and you're going to see where I'm applying because it's not going to be like this where you can't see. And I'm not, this isn't to cause tea or shade to any channel. Okay. I want you guys to see what I do. So I'm just going to Literally, two dots. And then right here you can see just a little bit of redness. I haven't even had to dip back into the product. This is still the same doe foot. Alright. Now this is the only part of my double up that I use once. With my finger, this is again um, a trick I learned from Robert Welch. So 
So now I'm just going to be taking my Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in the color C2. This is just going to go on my points that I'm breaking out. So right here, right there, along the crease area of my nose, right there. I have no idea some of these just like came up overnight. Have this be a lesson to you, children. Don't sleep with your makeup on. Okay, now I look like a weirdo. This is where my... This is a new step. I didn't do this in my last video. I just learned this this week. Say hi guys, this is my MAC Soft Okra Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is an eyeshadow base. But, but, watch this. I'm going to be taking just the tiniest little bit on my Bare Essentials brush and I'm literally just gonna pat it on my nose. Just spread it across. So my foundations I'm going to be using, um, I love the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. And this is in the color 01, uh, Natural Ivory. And then I do, I keep dropping things. This is the Dream Urban Cover. This is a full coverage protective makeup sunscreen, spectr uh, broad spectrum SPF 50. And it is an antioxidant enriched pollution protection. So, next step in my makeup routine is the powder. This is a translucent loose setting powder. It's talc free, no flashback, and it's water resistant. So, that's really great because water resistance, you know, you get, you know, water, sweat, tears. Depends your day. This will keep it from, you know, creasing and getting messed up. Look at that. I'm, I'm just going to grab my e.l.f. Total Face Brush. And from this, I'm just gonna, like, you can, you can see it. Like, that's how much, co it's coated. I tap it on my mirror. And <laughs> no one needs this much powder. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna dust it. Dust it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is the Soft Okra Pro Longwear Pot. It is by MAC Cosmetics. And with my Bare Essentials um, Packer Brush, I'm just going to put this on my lid. So we're going to dip into blood sugar today. The first color we're going to be dipping into is Prick. It is this first one in the bottom row. Um, it has this cute little um, imprint, imprint of a syringe. And I'm picking it up on my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. have to say and like when you pick it up on the brush it picks up red but as soon as you put it on your lid it just takes a couple of pushes and you gotta push it in like really really hard sometimes get that get 
with that red you want. That's my only quim. Quim? Quam? Quim quam. Quam quim. And I'm wasting your time. You're here for makeup. Okay. I'm going to be grabbing a Morphe E22. This is one of my favorite brushes simply because it's great for stamping motions. Um, it has this rounded head. It's like, it's perfect. Like, you just, it's really nice. Uh, with this, I'm going to be dipping into, mm -hmm, be dipping into Cherry Soda, which is the color right next to it. And you don't even need it much. Like, you just need to swirl it in. Now, this time I am stamping it. I'm not going to be giving you like the whole, oh, what am I even doing? I'm just going to stamp it in. Just because I was being quick, this is another little rounded head brush. It's almost like a pencil. This is the M321. With this one, one I'm just going to be going into, I'm deepening the crease further because I, I want this to give me smoky and vampiness. So we're really going to be playing in with these. Um, so fresh meat, ex extraction, I almost said exterminate. Get the Daleks going. Exterminate. And coma, I'm thinking coma is going to be on my lower lid, uh, on my lower lash line just to give it that vamp and you're like, ah, so pretty. And intravenous, that I'm going to use on my lower lid. Lower lid, lower lash line. So we're going to take fresh meat with the 3T1. And circular motions, you don't want to stab it. And now it's on the brush. And with this, we are going to take small, like, we're going to swirl it in to the crease. We're now going to be using the E17, and with this one, we're going to be going in. I think I'm going to use Intravenous just to give it a little bit of a vampier brown. Um, so with this one, we're just going to dip into Intravenous. And we're just going to soften out fresh meat. So with my M573, I'm taking Tongue Pop, and with this, with this, I'm just going to be scratching it, giving enough of a haze, if you'd say, when you get to your, like, right here, so, like, just right here, right when you get to, like, your nose, you can just do small circles and blend it up. This, I, I was just messing around and I played with this. I thought it was super cool. I'm going to be cutting my crease. I know I'm not cutting my crease like everyone else on, the, on YouTube, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. It's going to be taking Unicorn blood. Now I'm going to go and I'm just going to be taking in from the doe foot. And I'm just going to apply it that way just so I can get like a the payoff I want. That's much better. That's the payoff I'm looking for. So we're going to set unicorn blood. I'm going to be taking my little nameless packer brush. This I got out of a Marshall's contour box set. And I'm going to be taking blood sugar. This is this almost metallic-y red right here. It has a lot of fallout. But before I do that, we're going to use something that's not from the blood sugar palette. I think you know what I'm going to grab. 
We're going to be dipping into the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collab, the Conspiracy Palette. And we're going to go with this color right here. This is Flaming Hot. Ooh. Love that red. And we're going to be setting unicorn blood with this. And where'd my mirror go? On portrait, I'm going to be using blood sugar and we're just going to be tapping it on. But I'm going to set it with not set it. I'm going to wet the brush with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then, I'm just going to pat it in. Another Morphe brush. This is the Morphe 513. With this, I'm just going to be taking Cake Mix. We're just going to haze it out further. sparkle with my Morphe E27 I'm just gonna be taking sweetener from the sugar uh, blood sugar palette I love this color it's just it's is this just the right amount of peachy tone I think with this it would really This little angled brush. This is, I'm pretty sure it's a Zoeva knockoff. These are by Designer Brands um, Cosmetics. And with this, I'm just going to be taking Intravenous. I'm just going to tap it on. Grab my mirror again. I'm just going to put this underneath the black. With the Morphe M432, this is just a really nice, uh, like a just straight line brush. I'm going to be using this twice. The first color I'm going to be using with this, um, I think I'm going to go in with a mix of Extraction and Coma. This is going to give me that really pretty purple for my lower lash line. My whole goal with this look, it was to use all the colors I could from that palette. It's not going to be the purple I want, so I think I'm going to leave this to be like a black, smoky lower lash line. So now with my Morphe E36, I'm going to be taking from the Conspiracy palette, Spiraling. This is such a fun, pretty shade. It just has a Nike's ton of fallout. And this is just a really nice little pencil brush. And, uh, and I'm just going to like smoke my lash line. gonna get to liner I am really shy about my liner I don't like messing up my liner and if I mess up my liner this video will end and you will know why and these wings look foolish my lashes will help me my lashes will help me Ooh, toss a coin to your witcher a valley of plenty Well, I think they look okay. <laughs> I have slowly become obsessed with Peter Holland's version of Toss a Coin to Your Witcher. I can't get that song stuck out of my head and I've only seen snippets of The Witcher. I need to watch it. I need to watch it. <laughs> Desperately. But guys, I mean, I showed you guys my wing process. You got to see me act a fool. So we're going to close up the conspiracy because I don't damage my baby. 
I'm gonna close up blood sugar. Because we're done. We're done with the eyes. Yes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Reason why I'm using waterproof. I'm a crybaby. Emotions. Hard on my sleeve. Absolute trash. And I cry. So this helps me. Especially if I have anything in my eyes. It also helps me. Oh, crap. I forgot one thing. We need to do an inner corner highlight. So we're going to go in with, again, blood sugar. And I'm going to be taking the color Candy Floss. Because Candy Floss is pretty. And actually, while I was off camera, I'm, I forgot to mention, I took Candy Floss and I put it right here and here. It's just that pop of pink I want and I love it so much. So I'm just going to be using a M213. With this, I'm just going to be putting it in my inner corner. If you guys like my singing, let me know. I'll try to post some singing videos. Maybe I'll sing while I do my makeup one time. Oh, that should be interesting. Hello, evil. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. <laughs> Why did I have hiccups right then and there? So we're just going to decoat the lids. Lids, lashes. The reason why it's a small one, I wanted to test it first to see if it was for me. And it is for me. So I think I'm gonna invest in it. Lashes. These are XO Beauty 100% handcrafted false lashes. These are in the center. I've used these, and I'm sorry about the light, you guys. It's just them being in front of the window. We are going to be contouring my face with the Light to Medium Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. We're going to start with this center color here. This is Fawn. And I'm just going to be using. Let me grab my brushes. Hold on. This is by Designer Brands Cosmetics. This is just the angled blush brush. I use it for my contour just because it gives me just the right edge. So I'm just going to be dipping into that really nice, almost a sandy tone. And with this, I'm just going to grab it here. And we're going to contour my cheekbone. And there you have it. Now, with my Real Techniques Square Foundation Brush, I'm just going to contour my nose. We're going to go back in with Fawn. And here, we're going to just... This is how I contour my nose. Every con nose contour is different. We're not all U's. We're not all W's. For me, my nose contour is weird. I literally just... Right where my nostrils are. And then down... Bridge. There, my nose. And it's not really the bridge, it's more just the edges. And I take this down all the way. See how I'm taking it down? And I must apologize if the light is starting to reflect and do weird things. My, the sun has just come out on a cloudy day. <sighs> 
think it'd be pretty, but she's ruining my makeup. Now we're going to dip back into Java. Is it Java? Pretty sure it was Java. So we go back into Java, which is that color next to Fawn, and we're just going to deepen the contour just slightly. Now, like I said before, we're going to get a pat my powder in. This is, last time I didn't specify which Morphe brush I used for my contour. This is the Morphe M562. I'm going to go back into my Revolution powder in the color Translucent. With this, I just have a little powder on that little, cup, little couplet. So where it's paint, like left alone, I'm just going to take it down. So... Just literally filling in. Then with my Precision Eye and Cheek Brush by Bare Minerals Cosmetics, I'm just going to dust away the bake. This is also going to blend out my line. So the contour looks good. I'm really happy with it. Now we're going to be using the, this is a Christmas thing I got. Um, this is by Benefit. This is a bronze and blush palette. This is the Cheeky Camper. Now with my, it's, it, honestly, this whole series by designer brands looks like Zoeva, and I, I, I thought it was cute. When I saw it, I thought it was cute. So we're just going to be taking Hula Light. I'm wanting to stick in pinks today, so I'm just going to be using Dandelion right here. And with this, I'm not going to smile. I'm not going to be like, um, I'm just going to keep my face neutral because here's the thing when you do your blush this is the one I learned from Robert Walsh again um, a lot of people when they smile your apples right here when you do your your blush it comes back down so it's right by your mouth find your cheekbone and then up Oh, and this is a designer brand's cosmetics uh, tapered blush brush. And now my favorite setup highlight. This is the Supreme Frost in Snow Globe by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have used this to the point the star is. Let me just get it to a point where I can. It's this almost peachy tone. I love it. So I'm going to be using a designer brand's again. It's a wave a knockoff. Uh, fan brush. I'm going to add more highlight later, but right now this is what we're going to do. Anywhere the light catches, I'm going to do them in. I'm going to be going in with the Dominatrix Lipstick by Jeffree Star, and this is a Velour Liquid Lip. This is chocolate brown. Today I want to apply, this is the Gloss by Jeffree Star, and this is the color Midnight Lick. I 
did something a little crazy. I should not have, but I don't care. Um, I took Wifey. This is another Jeffree Star product. This is the one with the Lord Liquid Lips. And what I did, I'll show you guys. I took it and just, like, right, right in the center points, okay? And then I just took a little fan, like, a little brush like this. Now for the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that, you guys, is today's look. I hope you guys had um, as much fun as I did getting your brushes out and playing and either having your Valentine's Day look be as fantastic or anti-Valentine's Day, whatever you guys prefer. I am so, so grateful for you guys, and any of you who are watching, thank you. So if you guys liked this video, comment it down below. Please subscribe, share this with your friends, and yeah, hit that bell button because I will be starting, my uploading schedule is going to go like this. I will have a video uploaded by Tuesday at the very latest every week. So that's Tuesday here for new, my Southern Hemisphere peoples, and Monday for my north northern hemisphere. So, thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all heard that? Sounds like a church mouse.